All right, so in this video, I wanted to cover some of the rumored releases for 2024, some of my favorite ones that I have seen uh, thus far on the internet. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up in the beginning, though. Obviously, we don't know everything that's going to be releasing this year. There's probably going to be a lot of other things to be excited about, but these are the things that we've seen surface and is somewhat rumored. If some of these end up not being true later on, it's just the way the sneaker market goes, unfortunately. But hopefully we do see the majority of these releases. Also, just a side note, like most of these are Nikes and Jordans, mostly because those are the ones that have like leaked more or less. Uh, you haven't really seen a lot of news from Adidas and some of the stuff that they've been working on. I haven't even seen it, so like it'd be kind of cool. So again, this is just my personal list and they're not gonna be in any particular order for those wondering. The KD4s are finally rumored to get a retro in 2024. Rumor is we're seeing a lot of great colorways come back, including the Galaxy KD4s, which is an amazing one. I absolutely love that colorway as well as the Weatherman 4s, which is another iconic classic colorway of the KD4. But the most classic, most iconic colorway is probably the KD4 Nerfs. Those ones are absolutely amazing. I don't know if you're going to get any official branding or the uh, backboard that actually came in the box, which was super, super cool. You had like cardboard cutout backboard and the KD Nerf basketball that came with the original. I doubt they'll do that this time around, but if they do, that would be super, super epic. In that same vein, we do have rumors that the LeBron 4 Fruity Pebbles finally getting a GR, a general release. They were a player exclusives back in the day. Super, super crazy. We've seen Nike do a bunch of different Fruity Pebble releases, but this is the original one, the original PE one with, with the rainbow colored outsoles and that uh, Fruity Pebbles like on the midsoles and stuff. These ones are crazy and definitely a pair that I always wanted. And even if they sit in full size runs, this is the pair that I'm gonna be going after. If this was gonna be an actual ranking list, this would probably be my number one choice. And it is the Nike Dunk Low Futura collaboration. Looks absolutely incredible. Futura, if you didn't know, is like a graffiti artist. He's also collaborated with Nike SB in the past. The Flom Dunks, maybe you guys have heard of those. But he's had some really dope pairs and he had like a rumored pair that was gonna be with Virgil Abloh, like a collaboration, triple collab, but maybe it was just a friends and family release, I don't know. But this one kind of reminds you of that off-white version, but it is a Futura collab and it looks amazing amazing and the artwork looks crazy definitely definitely something that i want to get my hands on hopefully the nike dunk craze is still really really low by the time these actually end up dropping because i definitely want a pair of them as usual with my luck i don't usually hit on sneakers and a lot of the more limited in-demand things i just don't end up hitting on but some pairs i'm like i'm gonna pay to play and that's one of the pairs that i'm gonna do now some air jordans that i'm interested in yes we've heard the black hat threes are coming back i'm kind of on the fence with those it's an all black air jordan three i've had them in the past the original ones it's a very wearable colorway and a lot of people really like that one i'm more interested in the retro of the military blue air jordan fours i feel like they're going to do a nice job with this retro with the nike air branding on the back it's been 12 years since we've seen the last jordan retro of those and i believe the quality wasn't very good on those ones any which way i think this is the first time they're retroing those with the nike air branding on them and since it is an air jordan 4 in an og colorway and the air jordan 4 is still pretty hot right now i feel like this one's going to be a must for most people also we saw a retro of the air jordan 3 fear pack but it sounds like the air jordan 4 from the fear pack is going to be coming out as well now this pack when it originally released was pretty nice it was a three four and five combo but it wasn't actually a pack and they didn't have like a central theming around the pack the fours are definitely the ones that stood out there were more whites grays blacks sort of colorway and honestly a fan favorite but also if you guys remember back in this era and leave a comment if you guys do this is when the replica market just skyrocketed unfortunately they had replica pairs of these air jordan 4s way way before the actual release and a lot of people were covering them on youtube and stuff i still remember that back in the day it was a lot of the crazy stuff going on with with uh, that market and so it was really hard to trust like real versus like fake pairs back then of these it's obviously the same thing nowadays you just have to be careful but hopefully this is a pair that i actually can get my hands on i did have a pair originally i let them go and i want them back i still do have the threes from that pack but i got rid of the fours and the fives quick note on a pair that i'm interested in new balance action bronson uh, the 1906 R's. I do really want to see how these look in hand and on feet. I also want the Salehi Benbury ones that already dropped. I really like both of the colorways that, that dropped at the 1906s. But also just a sidebar, I want to know what is happening with Jack Harlow in New Balance. I know he's been working with New Balance. Maybe he doesn't have the creative skills to actually make his own shoe like that, but like, I wish he would. Like, it would be really, really dope to see. And then also in the non-Nike Jordan front, we have the Salehi Benbury Crocs collaboration. They're called the Crocs Pollux Junipers, and it has a same sort of Crocs Pollux look to them, but, but this is like an actual sneaker not like a full foam sort of pair and it kind of reminds me of like the crocs light pair that i've tried in the past where the upper is like actually like re water resistant but i actually need to see uh, these in hand and try these on feet because they look crazy it has that salehi benberry flair to them and honestly it's probably going to be a huge success because uh, anything that he touches really goes really really well now on the travis scott front there is the jordan jumpman jack pair that looks kind of interesting it's kind of like a retro-esque sort of looking 
a pair kind of almost has like an Air Jordan 4 midsole on them but honestly these ones look kind of crazy and I just want to see them in hand and on feet and see how they are I feel like they're going to be successful but will they be as successful as the other one that I'm going to be mentioning on this list and that is the Air Jordan 1 low Travis Scott collaboration and yes if you look at the pictures you're like didn't that one already release that's my sentiments at least but this is the black olive colorway uh, I've struck out on every single olive ish sort of colorway of the Travis Scott's I have the first two I think collabs from him and since then I've struck out on every single one and I've missed every single one but uh, this colorway I'm like didn't that one already come out any which way it's nice and colorway definitely one that like if I can get my hands on at retail I'll try I'm not really trying to pay resale for Travis Scott one low since I already have two of the other colorways but it gives us an opportunity to potentially get another colorway it sounds like he has a white and yellow colorway coming out as well now rumors are we're going to get an Air Jordan 1 high OG black toe reimagined version and I like the idea of them bringing like one reimagined pair like an OG unvaulted every year instead of doing like five or six or seven every year it gives it a little bit more luster and gives us something to like look forward to sort of like what they were doing with the Air Jordan 11s they would release a holiday Air Jordan 11 that was what everybody wanted but they've done that enough years it feels like they need to mix things up a little bit more and with like one or two different reimagined pairs every year I feel like that's probably more something that people can handle but I honestly don't know if they're going to be doing more the black toe is a nice looking colorway though and definitely one that I'm interested in seeing uh, them do that uh, same treatment too now the big question is that weathered aged look like dead or not I mean a lot of people said it died last year so we'll see whether or not it's something that people like like or not this year I feel like the trend's going to keep going and going though I mean you have shoes that are 40 or 50 years old now like the OG pairs so there is some sort of idea that having some oxidized looking pairs is kind of fun but I feel like brands definitely overdid it the last two years so it'll be nice if they fade away from that and then pun intended and then come back to that uh, potentially in the future now another pair of Jordans that I'm very interested in seeing how these retro is the Air Jordan 17s they have at least three different colorways that I've seen maybe four that they're going to be retroing this year I haven't seen like the Wizards colorway yet on the roadmap but the cherry colorway is probably my favorite one that is actually one of them that came with the suitcase as well so it had like a metallic suitcase that the shoes actually came with when they actually released the rumored retail is like $300 for this year so who knows if it's going to come with a suitcase or not and who knows if we're going to get the OG colorway but the OG colorway is inevitable the suitcase should be inevitable the CD that it came with should actually be coming as well even though nobody has a CD player but it would be fun to have like the relic sort of feel to that because that's the way that they originally came but it is fun for them to retro some of these tech pairs that they've never actually retroed in the past so this would be a fun one to see along with the KD4 Galaxies it sounds like we're going to be getting the Galaxy Foam Posits coming back this year who knows if that's actually going to be happening uh, it was rumored for last year so the fact that it was delayed maybe makes sense also the original Royal colorway is supposed to be coming back in 2024 as well which I have the last couple retros of that one including the OGs I love that colorway it's my favorite shoe probably of all time honestly I've said it on record a number of times the uh, the original Royal Blue Penny Foam Posits is the one that really put me into the sneaker space of like I love what sneakers can do and hopefully we'll see the galaxies come back I do have a pair up there but they're way 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 too small I got them gifted to me and uh, I definitely need to re-up in my actual size hopefully we'll see them I know they tried to bring back the foam posits in some colorways last year but honestly it didn't really do very much the price points are still kind of crazy I would love to see a resurgence of the foam posit I mean I just absolutely love the model now Jay Balvin also has his second installment it's the Rio colorway the black colorway is probably the better of the two colorways to be releasing in my opinion I never got the first one but the second one does look pretty nice at some point through this year we'll see uh, the J Balvin threes and also the Kobe Pro Tros it sounds like there's a ton of different Pro Tros in the works from all sorts of different models uh, most notably I guess the Venice Beach one is out there but it sounds like we're going to get a whole bunch of different ones I don't know specifically what we're actually going to be getting so I don't want to cover it in too much detail but it sounds like we're going to get a lot of Kobe's which is a good thing I feel like a lot of people want to see those on feet now is it possible that Nike is going to saturate the market with Kobe's and they're going to be basically the same as like Katie's and LeBron's possible it's very possible especially if they're ramping up numbers to make up for lost sales of other things that are not selling but ultimately that's a W for consumers because it gives us more options out there and hopefully uh, some options on sale but we'll see how it goes through this year I feel like it's going to be hot 2024 2025 maybe the Kobe retro line is something that will cool down a little bit and the last pair that I wanted to mention which we're going to be seeing a release in February it sounds like but a very limited release in China only year of the dragon air force ones they look absolutely crazy man in fact that's what inspired me to do this video I saw the release of those coming I was like whoa this came out of nowhere and they look absolutely ridiculous like 
the, the details are crazy, but the price point even crazier at $365 roughly. Uh, that's insane, but uh, the details and the craftsmanship on those look next level. So it would be really cool. In fact, the first instinct is to look at them and go, whose collab is that? Like it looks that crazy. But uh, that is kind of my list of sneakers that I'm looking forward to in 2024 that we've seen thus far. Uh, again, nothing solid in stone. And hopefully we'll see a bunch of other things that are going to be releasing uh, through the year as well. And if you guys like this video, drop a like, and I can do an updated one of these videos in the future when we know more about what's actually going to be happening. Have a good one, though. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video, and hopefully we'll see you back on the channel for some more sneaker content soon. All right, peace, guys.